Kaufman Red and Braden Smith. Uh, raise your hand, we'll get a microphone too. Uh, for Trey and Mason, just the effort on the glass, especially in the first half, how does that kind of set a tone for this game? Um, I think that's something we got to do every single game. You know, it's, it's, it's our, in our job description. It's in our role. It's what we got to do to help our team win. And I think, uh, I know I've realized that. I think he's probably realized that a little bit too as time has gone on. And, uh, we want to win. We're competitors, and the coaches do give us a job. And I know that we both go out there and try to do our best at it. Not what he said. No, we just we knew that, especially them. We knew that they were going to up. We knew that they were going to go to the last. So we just try to make a point of emphasis. Like I said, we got to do it every game, though. Great. There's a lot of people that think this is. Zach Eadian, without him, you guys are nothing. Uh, he doesn't play the last eight minutes of the first half, and you guys extend the lead. How big was that to go in the locker room with that gap, knowing that, that he was on the bench for as long as he was? I mean, that was huge. I mean, that just shows you what our team is. And with, with Z, without Z, I mean, we're in pretty good shape, I think. Um, I mean, whether it's TK's night, uh, Mason's night, Caleb's night, doesn't matter to me. That pretty much shows you. Uh, Trey and Mason, there seemed to be a kind of an extra level of hustle plays tonight. Uh, it seemed to have a lot of energy at the beginning. And that's, did that carry over throughout the game to just get the loose balls or keep plays alive in a tight situation? <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't know. I mean, I just think that um, that's kind of just what we want to do when we go in the game. Like you said, we're super competitive and we knew, it was one of the things where, to me, I knew that they were good rebounding team, so I wanted to, you know, make sure that we out rebound them by as many rebounds as possible. So that's just kind of my competitive drive towards kind of what they're doing. Yeah, same here. I knew we had to win on the rebounding war, and we've been talking about it for the past couple of days, so we took care of our job on that. Mason. You've got a black eye, you've got a cut there on your bicep, you were out with a toe yesterday. Can you just speak to the physicality of this game today? Uh, it's the Big Ten. It's not just this game, it's every game. Uh, I've been through it for, this is my fourth year playing, fifth year being here, and so uh, I'm very aware of the physicalness throughout the season, throughout this league. Uh, but that's why we have the best resources, best trainers here, and I spend a lot of time with them to stay healthy. What you got to do as a college basketball player play hard and then recover and do it all over again the next day. Trey, they had, what was it, you guys had a 21 point lead, they cut it to three, but you pull it out. What does it tell you about the team to be able to hold them off at the end like you did? Um, I mean, I would, I would like to say we didn't, you know, lose 18 points there, but um, I mean, I think, the, you know, we just have a lot of experience on the team. Just everybody that's played in so long and so many big games, and you know, we're kind of thankful that um, we've scheduled it like that to play so many good teams. And I think it's just prepared us for moments like this. Uh, Trey and uh, Mason, you guys did a good job on Danny. Took him basically out of the game early. You took uh, Coleman out of the game early, also. Talk a little bit about what it took to get those guys out of the game. So you, when you guys had your run there at the start, I think you got we got him on seven to two at the start of the game to get that ten point lead. Um, I think our defensive scheme, the coaches really prepared us well for what they were about to do, what we wanted to let them have, not let them have, but like kind of what we were okay with them having compared to something else. And whenever we stick to the game plan, everybody's on the same page and majority of times that works out. Um, but, you know, I think it also goes with everybody else. You know, everybody this season, I feel like, has up their attention to detail with scout and the coaches have pressured us with that. It's just gonna increase our room for error kind of whenever we're all on the same page and we're locked in communicating, so. Yeah, and just not just Mason and I on those two guys, it's, um, I think it's everybody and everybody executing our um, team defensive scheme. Um, you know, if we had to help more then maybe those guys got more open shots. And so I think just Everybody did a good job defensively and knowing what we were doing. For Brady, you've been running your two man stuff in pick and roll with Zach all season, obviously. How's it different with Trey? You guys had a good thing going there in the first half. He did a little bit of a short roll on him and could 
Yeah, I think um, it's kind of easier because um, me and TK played all summer together because we just tried to compete against Z, and me and him worked on that a lot. And I mean, it was either my pull up mid range or him shooting that little floater. So I mean, I, I trust him in it, and I tell him every single time, "Hey, let's get into that. Whether Z's in or Z's out, like let's just do it because it's going to be a killer, and no one's going to be able to stop that." Last one, Mike. Hey, the, the three pointer with five minutes left, but you have 14. <coughs> what kind of moment was that for you? What kind of moment can that be for you as you move forward through the season? Yeah, I mean, obviously it's a uh, it's a confidence boost. Um, but I shot you know, I shot well. Um, we shoot a lot of threes in practice, and so it's a shot that I practice. And if they're going to leave it wide open, I got to be able to step up and hit it. Thank you, guys.